Really? Can I just say that uh, being a 15-year-old model at one stage in my life, I've been pressured and pressured and pressured to do things like that. This, the pressure's intense. Annie Leibovitz is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Disney, they were I saw all... her trying to push the Queen around. Why don't you they do this, all, Your Majesty? They were Why all don't you there. do that? So she, I don't think that, that this poor actress had any... No, Ali, she never got her baps out. That's a complete lie. That never yeah, happened. The queen, the queen never got her baps out, but I think there's a lot of... It's the Queen we're of, talking about, yeah. <laughs> so so, so, you're, so you're, say, you're saying there is enormous pressure out there and what, the young girls need to be protected? The young girls need to be protected. I've called my agent and they've said, do it, it's a big magazine, it's going to help your career, you have to do it. There's no help. Yeah, yeah, you get pressured. Um, we have a call on line three from Sarah from Romford. Morning, Sarah. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. What do you make of the photo? Um, I'm just going to say that I don't agree at all. I don't think she's a very good role model at all for 15, 16-year-olds out there. Um, I'm a mother myself, and just say I was still a little girl myself at 15, right. and my mother and father would never let me do that, and I wouldn't let my daughter do it either. I think it's, in, it's an invite for perverts out there. Okay, I mean, nicely put. Thank you. Listen, uh, Rebecca from Hull on line three. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, good morning. 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 What do you make of the photo? I think we're mixing up sexuality with beauty, to be quite honest. I am a photographer and I have total respect for that picture. You say what with the picture? You see sex or you see beauty? What do you see? Beauty. Or a bit of both? You see beauty. And I think, we, I think the whole area is a very grey area and I think yeah. what's easy for us to do is to, uh, Rebe to Rebecca, not just, deal with it. Just to go back to what I said right at the beginning, the first time I saw that photo, right, I just saw... Uh, I didn't see any headline, I just saw the photo because my eyes were drawn to a semi-nude woman and I thought, well, hey, right? So I saw sex. I didn't know the story, I didn't know the age, I didn't know who she was. My reaction, as a red-blooded man, was, well, hey, sex. Yeah, but as soon as you knew the age I was of that revolted. girl, your reaction changed. Yes, because it, I thought, how can they do that? That's wrong. That is it's portraying like a 15-year-old girl child, as sex. And any, any child naked. It's the, the difference no, between how no, the picture I, is used. No, I don't agree. I think uh, you, as, uh, the Nan Golding is, is a classic example. And yes, there is a, an element of what, the, the people, what people see. In Nan Golding's, I saw innocent children walking around or doing, you know, doing what innocent children do. I saw innocence. But in yeah. this, I don't. I see sex. But you see, I think there's beauty there. And I I'm think sure there is. If she's a beautiful girl. And I think it is how they use the photograph. I think that, that photograph used... In a newspaper, it's probably different to being used in a gallery. Oh, that's a dangerous route to go down, isn't it? I think she's but right. I think, she, I think you're right. There's a grey route. We there's an element of context. The this is a grey area. There's an element of context, but there's also an element of the expression she has in her eyes when she's looking at camera. Was she to be looking away from camera, not apparently caught unaware? It would have been a different picture, but she's looking straight into camera as if she knows what she's doing, and that's mm. the worrying mm. thing, I think. OK, Rebecca, I mean, I, I'm thinking about what you, you say. I, I really do. I hear you. Uh, one more, please, if you know. We have a man on the line. Barry. Barry. Barry, good morning. Morning. Uh, let's hear it from a bloke's perspective, then. What do you think, sir? I think exactly as you said. Uh, my first reaction when I saw the photograph was a very attractive young lady. Yeah. Uh, I found what she didn't reveal is more provocative than what she revealed. Yes. Uh, and then when you find she's 15, my reaction is, Pedophile. Yeah, yeah, that it's that it's wrong. So, it's so completely wrong. It's the magazine. Who's that? You know, who who is to blame here? The magazine for, for publishing the photo. Annie Leibovitz for for talking the girl into into taking her clothes off and posing like that. I think the magazine. Mm. They they should um, censor in a way. I know, I know you're not in favour of censorship, but yeah. Uh, it's something like this, they, they shouldn't put it in. Well, it's, 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 a case of, it's a case of self censorship. And I say, in, in relation to the Rolling Stone <laughs> cover of Britney Spears, every magazine boss, and I, I know for a fact from my own fleet studio, every magazine boss, every newspaper is aware, painfully aware, of how you use minors uh, in print. And I think to publish a photo like that, they were fully aware of, of the rumpus it would cause. There's a part of me which kind of regrets that we even having to, to give the magazine publicity. I've, they've only been name checked once, and that's the way it stays. But uh, it's an important discussion to have, and it's really interesting all the views. So thanks, everyone. Cheers, Barry.